So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. This one's mine! Want some of this? What good fortune brings you back to me, Jonathan? What is it, my dear? I'm afraid it's bad news, Elizabeth. The worst, actually. Please, speak up. Edgar is no longer in McCullum's grasp. I resolved that matter. Where is our good friend now? Is he well? Of a sort. His injuries were mortal. I had no choice but to make him one of us. To save him. Or to punish him. To punish him? I fail to understand. And what is the source of this cold tone in your voice? Edgar Swansea was responsible for the Skull epidemic, Elizabeth. It was he who unleashed the deadly scourge upon London. What? Are you certain? This is the most terrible accusation of all. He confessed everything to me. He sought to cure the disease, to exploit vampire blood to stop the epidemic. But he unwittingly gave birth to a catastrophe. All those poor victims. How could he do it? What happened? Edgar gave no heed to ethics. His theory could have been proven to be correct, but he abused the confidence of his patients to test it. I must say, I'm shocked, Jonathan. Who would have thought it? And the poor patient. Let me guess. It was Harriet Jones, was it not? Yes. That explains how Doris Fletcher was infected, and how she became an i -Corps. She secretly visited her mother at Pembroke. Then we have no choice. We must act quickly, Jonathan. We must return to the sewers and put an end to the threat poor Harriet embodies. I have one more matter to discuss with you. Harriet Jones was the primary case, but... Do you know what a healthy carrier is? There is a tone in your voice that frightens me, Jonathan. What are you trying to say? It was your blood Edgar used for his experiment on Harriet Jones. What? No. No. This can't be. Oh. Elizabeth. Are you all right? Uh, no, I have to go. What do you mean? Leave me alone. Save the city, Jonathan. Save what can be saved. Elizabeth, I need answers. Why did your blood Stay cause Stay away this? from me. Please. I swear I never was your Wait. enemy. Wait. No. Elizabeth.
now would be a good time to blend the recipe Marshall used when he fought the disaster. I think I know where to find what I need. Whose blood could be purer than that of William Marshall? Lord Redgrave will have to spare me a drop. I'm still persona non grata in the Ascalon Club. Are you from Ascalon? If I want to speak with Lord care. Redgrave, I'll have to improvise.
Good evening, Lord Redgrave. What are you doing here, traitor? I shall smite you for this audacity. I'm not here to bicker, Lord Redgrave. I can put an end to this epidemic, but I need your assistance to do so. Good. We've held out thus far, but the time has come to put an end to this crisis. Tell me, what do you need? The blood of William Marshall. The blood of William Marshall? Of my maker? Are you mad? His blood is the purest of all. My maker proffered it to me on the battlefield. I cannot hand it to you. Stop this farce. Marshall never was your maker. I have no idea how you acquired his blood, but I need it now. I see. Well, in that case, given the gravity of the situation, I suppose I can spare you a drop. Thank you, my lord. If you manage to save this city, you'll prove yourself a veritable servant of the crown. So Godspeed, Dr. Reed. Our fate lies wholly in your hands. Good evening, Miss Ashbury. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. What is your opinion of Aloysius? I'm sure you did what you had to without him su- Goodbye, Charlotte. She's been-
ready, boys! We've got one of them! It ain't human! Kill it! If McCollum really drank the blood of King Arthur, then I may have found another vital ingredient for my recipe. Locked, all right. I said, stay away, sir. Stupid beast. <laughs> Good evening, Vampire Hunter. Are you here to mock me, Reed? Not at all, McCullum. I am here because I need you. Really? I'm intrigued. Speak up, then. I need the blood of a king. The blood of Arthur. I'm certain you possess it, and I must have it. The guard's most sacred and precious relic? Why would you... Ah... Uh, you found Marshall's memoirs. I should have destroyed that book. I need the antidote to save this city, McCollum. It is within me to take your words as truth. I want to, but I must know more. What precisely are your plans? 
I have found the carrier, McCullen. The infection's source. It may be science or some supernatural power that's responsible for all this, but I will harness either or both to end the epidemic. A vampire doctor. My god, you're a terrifying creature. Jonathan Emmett Reed. Do you not understand? We wanted the same thing from the outset. A means to end this vampire epidemic. Not enemies. Maybe that is so. Take it then. I see no other hope for this city. If this is some trick, you will be damned, Dr. Reed. Thank you. Can we speak more? Indeed. Why not? Why are you here? The man who raised me after the brutal murder of my parents. He's buried here. Were both your parents killed by vampires? Yes. And yet worse. My father returned to Dublin a vampire. And tore out my mother's throat. And who was this man? Carl Eldritch. One-time leader of Prewin. He killed my father in front of me. Helped me hunt my brother Ain after teaching me how to kill leeches. How are you adapting to immortality? I feel so powerful it gives me shivers. I could be the greatest vampire hunter ever. Your worst nightmare in truth. Will you leave the guard now that you are what you are? Are we not creatures of deceit? I could hide my nature from my men, or name a successor. Go my own way. I know not yet my path. Will you hunt me down? Not for now. But you had better behave, Doctor, or it may change my mind. Farewell, my progeny. Do not stretch your luck, Reed. I cannot use garlic, but there may be a substitute in the Pembroke Hospital drug storage. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
There it is. Insulin. Much more efficient than garlic against blood poisoning and sepsis, and much less dangerous for me. Thank you, Dr. Polescu.
The blend seems stable. Time to go and find Harriet in the sewers. <laughs>